Hey guys, John here. So as you saw, the title is called John Audio 2.0 and a free preset pack. We're going to get to that in just a moment here. But I do want to uh, share some things that have been on my mind for this channel and some restructuring that we're going to be doing going into the uh, in the new year. So first thing, we should uh, talk about what is going to be removed so we can end on a positive note, right? So basically, the things that we're going to be taking away is we're going to take a little break on the weekly synth voting to kind of freshen up the things, and you're going to see why in just a little bit. So the sound design will still continue, right? It's going to be three patches a week instead of four. So that's really the only thing that we're going to be kind of taking away or, or removing right so taking a break on the weekly synth voting right that we do every mondays and thursdays when the vote ends and all that so yeah and then uh the sound design videos will be three videos and three patches a week instead of four so why are we doing these changes right so the first changes is going to be giving me some more time to make some more targeted and basically more focused and creative stuff outside of just synthesizers, right? Because at the end of the day, sound design isn't always about synths, right? There's a lot of stuff we can do outside of them, different post-processing stuff, different effects, and those take a little bit longer to make. And I think they, in some ways, they can yield a better result, and then we can maybe sample stuff out, bring those back into the synth, do some crazy, sample that out again, bring it into a different synth, and so on and so forth, right? So that's kind of just a, a concept I've had in my head. Also, this gives me time to start addressing some of the preset requests that uh, a lot of people have asked for, either sometimes on YouTube comments, and I try to save them in some notepads, but sometimes, you know, as time gets to you, you, you know, I kind of forget sometimes, and you know, it's hard to keep track of them. So I was kind of thinking what's an easy way to keep track of all the requests. And I figured I opened up a room in my disc or a channel, I guess, in my discord. So you can post all your preset requests in there. So if you join the discord, you're going to see on the left hand side, there's a channel called preset requests. So that's something uh, that you could go do if there's a certain sound that you like, or you might want to know how to recreate, that'd be a good spot to post a link there. And also, it'd be helpful if we put a timestamp because there's sometimes there's some requests that come in, it's like, I want to make this, uh, I don't know, this lead or this ARP or whatever it is, and it's like a five-minute song, and there's ARPs and leads everywhere, so I kind of don't really know what it is, and I don't want to waste anybody's time. So a timestamp would be super helpful in that synth. <laughs> in that synth, that's funny. Okay, anyway, uh, the next thing that uh, we should talk about is that uh, there's a free preset pack called Titanium Bass. Now, this one is an early Christmas present from me to you. I'm not going to give you a... A preview because it should be a surprise right it's wrapped in the wrapping paper of a surprise so the link for that is in the video description below go ahead and check it out if you'd like to it's that's all i'm gonna say, gonna say. it's titanium bass there's bases arps and sequences and it's a lot of fun it's a lot of cool stuff so if you want a free preset pack for uh christmas then go ahead and download that like i said the link is in the description so thank you for that and it's also a thank you not just for christmas but for all you guys who have been like watching the channel for so long, commenting, and you know, it's just cool hanging out and geeking out about synths and and sound design and all that stuff and playing with different synthesizers and all that so forth. So anybody who has supported me out there, a very big thank you from me to you and enjoy your free preset pack. So anyway, speaking of preset packs, uh, this also gives me a little bit more time to make some more unique preset packs in the future because there's a lot of interesting ideas that I've had that I've really wanted to do. Um, I guess one of them I should share is uh, I, I want to make some weird kind of instrument with weird stuff from hardware stores and weird just metallic -y, dissonant weird stuff and get a lot of those samples and start making something interesting as, uh, as far as the sample pack goes. So not really like a melodic kind of thing, more of a texture. I like guess not really ambient, but like that kind of atonal stuff that just has weird stuff like that. So that one's kind of a work in progress, so I, I want to kind of venture into doing some of that stuff. That would be kind of cool as far as other packs I have, which I won't show yet because they're kind of still a work in progress. And then further on, some more structured courses on either sound, digital audio, what effects actually are, how they work, because it's actually extremely, extremely interesting how flanging works or what chorusing actually is and stuff like that. So that is uh, going to free up some time to start putting stuff like that together, which is going to be a lot of fun. And some other topics that I kind of have, you know, written down or scrapped down on the uh, on the notepad and kind of, you know, working through some of those ideas for some cool courses in the future. So, yeah, it gives me a little bit more time for things like that. So another thing we're moving on to is I've gotten asked quite a few times if I have a Patreon, if I'm going to open one. And I haven't for the longest time. I just never it's just one of those things I never really did. So was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. I finally opened one. And if the channel's helped you out, if you want to support the channel, if you want to support me doing sound design, anything like that, or preset packs and all that stuff, I would really appreciate it. And I'd be super grateful if you joined. 
Right now, at this current time of the video, there's only the one general support stuff, but I do have a lot of stuff planned for the future going into next year that we're gonna add and some more different tiers and rewards and materials and cool stuff like that that you guys can get for that. So that'll be coming a little bit later on in the next year, and when uh, an update happens, I will let you know. So moving on to some more interesting things, the uh, another thing that I've wanted to do for a long time, and I just never really had, I guess, maybe the time to do so, and doing some of these changes is going to probably give me a little bit more time, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So I've thought about this for a little bit of time, and I am going to start putting together some weekly... 30 minute type of it's kind of like a podcast kind of but it's more so like we're gonna let, we're gonna be looking for for about 30 minutes we're gonna be looking at this piece of this synth or something like that we're gonna kind of check it out or listen to it or talk about it or something like that because i can talk your mind off or brain off whatever you say i can talk your what is it your brain off i can talk your mouth off i don't even know what it is i can talk for a long time about pigments because i freaking love that synth so much and that would be a cool thing because i know you know if there's a certain gear or synthesizer that i like personally i've watched probably every single hive 2 video on youtube that there is multiple times so that's something i'm into so chances are you might be too so that might be kind of interesting to do so there'll be 30 minutes of it just me talking and I also do want to bring some other people in our circle onto the channel and maybe just kind of geek out, talk about stuff, interviews, maybe talk about what they do. We can learn from a lot of people out there because there's a lot of interesting and intelligent people that also do sound design. And it'd be cool to pick their brains and learn how they do stuff. You know, maybe there's a whole technique that we don't know about and we would like to learn so we can all basically grow together and learn different styles of, of synthesis, learn different sound design, how people make stuff. And, you know, maybe some people use some weird, crazy techniques that none of us ever heard of. We're like, oh, that's pretty cool. And maybe someone wants to talk about it because I love talking about it. So maybe they do too. So that's another interesting thing. I'd like to reach out to more people and see if they would be interested in that. So if there's someone that you would like to uh, have on here and talk about sins, gear, who knows what, please let me know. I'll reach out to them. And if they're if they're down to do it, that would be really cool. Um, yeah, or, or you guys can let them know if, if, you know, if there's somebody that you guys are in contact with or you want someone to come on here, that'd be really cool too. And let me know and we can put something like that together. And it would be cool not to just have just sound designers, but it'd be cool like other teachers and other subjects or, you know, if someone's like a DSP guy and they're just like, for example, the, uh, for, so Valhalla Vintage Verb is obviously one of my favorites. And there's about an hour long podcast that he did with the audio programmer. And man, that's so interesting. I, I probably watched that two or three times and stuff like that is super interesting to me. And I mean, I'm not a coder by any means or I have no idea how to write reverb algorithms, but nonetheless, it was super fascinating and I just had a great time watching that. So developers in that sense would be really cool. You know, if there's a developer that makes an interesting plugin or something like that, it'd be cool to talk about that. Also musicians, you know, if you're just, you're, you're a musician, that's your first thing that you kind of do. You're not really a sound designer, but you just, you play music, you play guitar, you play bass, whatever it is. It's a very related field, so that would be cool as well. So something interesting too that I've kind of always wanted to do and poke the brains of, of people smarter than myself and are more creative. So it'd be interesting. To, we can all learn together. I think a lot can a lot of good can come from that at the end of the day, right? It's uh there's a lot of stuff that we don't know that we don't know if that makes any sense. And it's kind of cool just to hang out with people and learn their path, their story, their process of making stuff. So yeah, that'd be uh, really cool that we're gonna start implementing. And like I said, I think we're uh, we're gonna aim for a weekly thing. So you know, if someone can't make it or something like that, we can just do 30 minutes talking about, you know, why do we love the reverb in Hive 2 or something like that? Or here's some interesting things about this synthesizer that maybe some of you guys don't know or something like that. But yeah, that's kind of the thought process there. I'm hoping to get this started for sure by the beginning of the year, but, uh, you know, it could happen a little bit earlier depending on how things go. So yeah, that's... Uh, kind of the, the thought process there. So I guess we could technically call this the first podcast in the series because I don't think I've ever made a video this long. Maybe, maybe I have, I don't know, but yeah, that's kind of just a, I guess this is kind of the first one, right? We're just sitting here talking. I don't know what you're doing. Maybe drinking coffee or on your way to work or way home from work or on a lunch break. I don't really know. Actually, what are you doing right now? That's actually, if you've made it this far in the video, I'm actually curious what you're doing right now. So please let me know. Tell me everything. So yeah, so basically kind of like what is this podcast going to be about, right? Gear, this, that, so on, so with techniques. We're going to talk about different synths maybe. I still need to try Dune 3. That's one that, man, I, can't, I literally get that every single day now. Dune 3, have you got Dune 3 yet? Dune 3 sounds good. Here, listen to this. This is Dune 3. I'm like, I know. I need to get that soon. I will. I promise I'll get it soon. I just, I don't know why I haven't done it yet. 
I don't think I've heard one bad thing about Dune 3 for some reason. But yeah, that might be something interesting too. Like, let's just take a look at Dune 3 and I don't know. I've never used it. I don't really know what it sounds like personally, like from like a just basic saw wave level, right? Like I've heard the patches, but I've never like used it to know what it sounds like in that sense, if that makes any sense at all. Also, we can talk about music theory, different interesting things that uh, like the way you write music or something like for, for me personally, I really love harmonic minor scales, F sharp in particular, or just regular minor scales. Those are kind of cool as well. Sometimes an F or sometimes C or C sharp. That's kind of nice as well. But mostly for the most part, I do like sticking with F sharp harmonic minor or just regular minor, something like that. And maybe some sound design skills, right? Maybe there's some interesting things where, you know, I remember when I was going to audio school, a big mistake, by the way, way back when, what is that, 10 year, 11 years ago now, something like that. I remember this one guy saying that an interesting technique that he learned from some guy was to really get a snare to pop is they got a piece of paper, kind of a, maybe a couple pieces of paper, and they held it on their, I don't know, they hold it in one of their hands, right? So just a little bit on the edge. And then they get a pencil and then they just whack the crap out of that thing. And it makes a really, really sharp transient. And then mixing that into a snare drum really gets it to pop. I've never personally done that, but I always found that was kind of interesting. It might be something interesting to try, but kind of stuff like that, right? Just kind of obscure, strange things that you never really would have thought, right? You get a celery and you record that and pitch it down it sounds like bones breaking like there was a there's a mortal Kombat video of them doing the foley for it and that's also pretty interesting so kind of things like that would be cool to talk about and maybe if people do that for a living or they do that on the side or as a hobby or they're knowledgeable about that that'd be cool to learn about and kind of discuss that further but uh yeah that's kind of the thought process for that and basically just all the stuff that we're interested in all the stuff that you know you know sometimes i've just gone on a binge and went on like what does this different type of distortion sound like versus that type of distortion or what's this reverb algorithm you know like one day i'm all into plate reverbs the next day i'm like you know what those hall reverbs are pretty cool though never really happened with spring reverb though but anyway yeah that's kind of just the uh the uh whole thing that i've kind of been thinking about for the last probably couple months now kind of restructuring things upgrading it giving the john audio channel a little bit of a facelift and kind of you know ushering us into a newer brighter prosperous 2024 so yeah so basically as a quick recap in case uh you have forgot because <laughs> that happens sometimes right so we're taking a break on the weekly synth voting that's not going away completely just taking a little pause on that and kind of keeping things fresh right and then sound design still going to be three patches a week. That hasn't changed, but it's going to be a little bit different in the sense that I, you know, they're going to be more targeted and focused in the sense that we're going to be doing different types of techniques or, you know, might take on requests, which like I mentioned before, if you do have a request and you want it on a, uh, on a video or something like that, please post that into my Discord link in that channel because that's a way I can keep track of it because it's it's honestly hard to keep track of different uh, patches. You can put it in your phone sometimes. I've written it down uh, analog with pen and paper sometimes and I can't find the paper and I can't find the video. I don't remember where the comment was. So yeah, that's going to be super helpful because I just have a place to go and a timestamp would be great as well. Uh, also your Christmas present. Don't forget to take that on the way out. And uh, if you like it, let me know. Uh, that was, that was actually a really fun one to make. Yeah. So yeah. And then there's a Patreon that was open two days ago or a day ago. Jesus Christ. I forget that. I'm, I'm bad with time in that sense. But anyway, yeah, the Patreon's open right now. It's just a support tier, but in the future, probably early next, excuse me, early next year, we're going to be adding some interesting stuff to that. So yeah, stand by for that. And then as soon as I know, I will let you know. And what do I have here left in my notes? Uh, yeah, we just talked about the podcast. You probably haven't forgot that about, about now. But yeah, one last thing to uh, remember, or I should say before we go here, is that uh, if there's someone you want on here, please let me know. Like I said, I'll reach out to them. And if they're down to do it, that would be a lot of fun. And we can all hang out and stuff like that. That'd be really cool. If there's someone that uh, you guys know, reach out to them. And maybe if they're down, that would be cool as well. And it's not really restricted to sound designers or something like that. Like the teachers, developers, musicians. Developers would be really interesting because I do have like a very interest for coding. Because I've tried to, <laughs> oh my God, I've tried to code a plugin. I got so far as I got the plugin inside the DAW. I had a gain slider. I had, uh, I think, a pan slider, and that was about it. I got further in Reactor because that's a little bit easier as far as just C++. Uh, C++ but anyway, yeah, that would be interesting to kind of pick their brains because they're much more knowledgeable about that than I am. And musicians, artists, stuff like that, that would be really, really cool. And just kind of 
unorthodox sound design skills or whatnot. But yeah, that's basically the thought process and the plan going on into the next year. So if you made it this far, I guess comment a weird emoji or something like that just to show that uh, you have made it through this long video because I know attention spans on YouTube is pretty difficult. Sometimes we get the goldfish brain and I'm no... Uh, exception to that rule either. So yeah, thank you so much for the support throughout these uh, couple of years. And hopefully we're gonna have a better 2024. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. So thank you so much. And enjoy your free preset pack. I'll see you on discord. All the links I mentioned are in the video description below. And look forward to a fun new time on the channel. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video.